Welcome back to Sunday League Football Cup Final Edition. Yes, it's the Brentwood Senior Division League Cup Final as we take on league winners this year. Sungate, they won the all-deciding tie against Atletico Trotters recently, so congratulations to them. Which, of course, puts them in good stead for tonight, of course, because they're going to want more. As for us, we've been quietly doing our thing this year. We wrote the league off back in December, didn't we? And literally just said, let's win a cup. And here we are at Brentwood Football Club with that opportunity right in front of us. Sungate have been pretty vocal online about their unbeaten run. 16 games. It's very impressive, and it's why they've got a league title, and it's why they're in a cup final tonight. But have a look at this. Amongst all those W's, there is a D. There's a joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going to say it. But that D was a draw, and it was a feisty old draw, wasn't it? We also played them on the very first day of the season, and that was a slightly different result, wasn't it? Stop. Yes! 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 Do it! Yes! yes. Oh, he's got a... No, no, yeah! Yeah! Yes! That's how it's been head-to-head -head this season, but it's a cup final, anything can happen, and this is a very, very good team we're up against. Let's not focus too much on our opponents, because uh, we've got a good team as well, and this is what we're looking like tonight. In between the sticks, we've got a Garen, then it's left-back Shane, right-back Andre, and then that beautiful centre-back pairing of Elliot and Foxy. Into the midfield, we've got a big Josh, we've got a Tommy's next-door neighbour, oh, and also some guy called Blossy. We didn't win the league, though, did he? I said what I said. On the wings, it's Lewis and Callum Palmer, and up top, blinking you'll miss him, it's Midge. It's funny how we got to a cup final, it's the first time this season that we've got a full squad, but on the bench, we've got a Budney, we've got Bill Tex, Kev, Henners, and Josh so this is it, the sun is shining, but not for long. Before we start, a couple of nice gestures as well. In our previous video, we remembered Kieran. If you haven't checked that one out, please do. Lovely video and some great memories. And I'll keep saying it, one of the best to wear the orange shirt. We could actually do with him in the centre of midfield tonight, to be fair. But yeah, Kieran's family are here to support tonight, so that's lovely to see them. The club actually covered their entry tonight, which was great. And then the Brentwood League actually said, no, you can have that money back. So a really nice gesture from them. And then our opponents actually suggested that we did uh, another minute's applause tonight for Kieran, especially with his family in the crowd. I think it'd be a really nice thing. So that's what we're going to do beforehand. And hopefully, Fingers crossed we can bring home a trophy tonight for him. Before we get going though, a couple of team photos. Open your eyes, Callum. If I score tonight, I'm definitely celebrating in front of the camera. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Yeah, here we go. This one's for Kieran. So this is it. It's the Brentwood Senior Division League Cup Final. It's Palmers FC versus Sungay. Who's going to take it? Well, you'll find out in a bit. Well, one minute in, the game's gone flat. Or at least the ball has. Not good enough, that one. Get it changed. Ball number two. Doesn't look like it's good enough either. Did we ever find out the regulation PSI for a football? Ball number three. Still no good. So two and a half minutes in, we're playing with a yellow ball. Because the keeper sends this one forward. And that's straight out for a throw. Cheers, pal. I have to say, the opening period of this game is very stop-start. A lot of niggly fouls. Some more obvious than others. If you went to this game, you would have got a program. It was actually really interesting to read some of the individual player bios. Picking up the ball now, hashtag United Sam Bantic. No mention of hashtag in his bio, though. He did mention he played for Conquer Rangers in the Conference South and won the Essex Senior Cup. So this is the kind of stature we're up against tonight. Although that shot there had the sting taken out of it and uh, straight through to Gary and it went. Me, me. As I mentioned in the intro, it's quite a feisty tie last time we matched up against each other. We did get kicked about a bit. So it's important we stand up for ourselves, but let's not go big joshing into every tackle, yeah? So obviously, Gary in between the sticks tonight. Grateful we still got him on the books. I'll tell you what, Tony's ankle is in bits. But 30 minutes in, we're still giving away fouls. <laughs> So, another free kick for Sungate. It's going to get sent forward by the international goalkeeper. And I'm not even lying either. Started his career as a pro at Yeovil and represented Gibraltar at international level. Last time around, made some really good saves. Stopped us from getting any more than one. So, hopefully, we can test him tonight as 11 doesn't deal with that. Callum Palmer picking up the seconds. Heading over the top for the number two. It's not me. It's Midge. Finish!
What a strike. Our first real chance of the game, and we definitely took it, didn't we? Now, we could give Callum Palmer the assist, but I'm going to give it to me. Chuck Image, that number two shirt, is just giving him that extra edge, you know? I'll tell you what, it's not easy to finish from here with the right. So I might go on the outside of the boot. Midge just went full Thunder Bastard into that far side netting. With 14 minutes gone, it's Palmer's FC1. Sungate, nil. All right, kick off. And straight away, we're looking to crack on and get a second. It's Andre over the top for Midge. We know he's got pace. Five looking to deal with this, but Midge gets it back. And it just seems like he's got an extra yard or two over this lot tonight. As this cross goes in, they're not looking too comfortable at the back as Callum Palmer looks to pick it up. <laughs> Back down the other end now, it's Sungate putting this looping ball towards the edge of the box here. Number 12 wins his header over Callum. But nobody else is going to get onto that other than Garen. And uh, I've got to say, his distribution recently has been absolutely spot on. Kev's hair taking up almost the whole frame there. But um, have a look at this. It's a big pitch, this. And uh, Garen sent us from one end straight to the other as Midge looks to get onto it. Kev has come to collect. He spilt it. Midge wasn't even looking. Luckily for Sungate, the 11's there to swipe that one away. From that clearance is this throw here from Shane into Foxy. And uh, it's at this moment, Charlotte says to me, to me, I can't see if the camera's in focus or not. And I have to admit, it's a little soft, isn't it? You guys have probably got used to how the camera looks right now, but if you've never had glasses before, and you've never had that feeling of, oh my god, I can see even better now. You're about to have it. Look at this. So let's start again. Welcome back to Sunday League Football. Tonight we face up to Sungate in the Brentwood Senior Division League Cup. And you join us here as we approach the 19th minute. We currently find ourselves 1-0 up through a mid-strike. Smith with the assist. Let's see how the rest of the game pans out. And after making the picture a bit clearer for you, we now can't see anything at all, but um, I'll try my best. It's the number 8 keeping it in, giving it to the number 10, Bano. <laughs> These strikers and wingers, I'm telling you now, especially the ones in the Conference South, they know all the tricks of the trade. He's won himself a free kick there. The referee just having a word with Big Josh. It's only a matter of time before he goes in the book, I'm sure. But right about now, we've got a free kick to deal with. It's uh, Bano that stands over it. And Foxy at the back there, fantastic defending. And now we can get on the break. It's Callum Palmer as he makes his way forward. It's two on two, three on two if the number three can get back. And rather going alone, Cal's opted for Midge on that far side. Boss has joined the attack, as has Lewis on the overlap. But he's gone for the shot, but not enough pace on that at all to trouble the keeper. Here comes Sungate once more. It's a ball over the top. And it's a battle of the baldies at the back there. It's Foxy at once again. Again, wins that tussle. Here's number three picking up. He's played for the likes of Romford and Great Wakering, but loses out to Tommy's next door neighbour who plays football in his garden. He's won that battle, but three's got a chance to redeem himself. But Tommy's next door neighbour wins it once more, and it's that ball that finds Midge, who's got the blinkers on at this point as he makes his way towards the edge of the box. Everything is spot on right now. And we can talk about Midge in a second. But it's so important we win all those individual battles all over the field. And uh, Tommy's next on neighbour. Take a bow, son. He won the first one. And his second tackle ended up being the assist for Midge. And just look at the slight jinx here that put defenders off balance. He's so clever. Watch number five sliding for this shot. That doesn't actually happen that side. He opts to go the other side. Keeper saw it late and into the back of the net. That one goes. It's Palmer's FC2. Sungate, nil. All right, kick off. They say two nil's a dangerous scoreline, though. So we need to be on it still. More goals will be needed against this lot, that's for sure. As this ball goes in towards the back post, Andre there to head that one out. That goes out for the corner. Here comes the corner. Not the best delivery, but it does find the 99 there, but we stand tall. <laughs> The Sungate continue to try and get the ball forward. It's up in the air at the moment. That's big Josh territory. <laughs> So 25 minutes in and we see our first booking of the day. I wouldn't say any of the fouls are malicious. Maybe clumsy. Some of them not even fouls. But either way, ref's got a job to do. And so I have Sungate here. Free kick from Bano over the wall. And uh, that's straight into the arms of Garen. Over the far side, that battle hotting up as uh, number 14 gets away from Foxy here. Foxy's going to look to track back. Just got to be careful though. <laughs> Yeah, we've really got to cut down on these free kicks. Can't keep giving them opportunities to put the ball in the box. That's where it is at the moment. Garen with the punch and Andre to clear. After soaking up a bit of the pressure, we're able to uh, keep the ball for a little bit. Going to get it on the deck, make them chase it for a bit. It's Foxy out from the back to Blossy. Big Josh is available in the middle and he uh, uses him as well. As number eight chasing him down. It's a flick over him back to Blossy. And now we can get on our way. And instead of Callum Palmer, it's Lewis. Looks like they've swapped wings. The first job for Lewis to keep this one in. He will do that. He's got time as well. And second job is to put a lovely ball in the box for Callum Palmer. Oh, <laughs> Fellow member of the goalkeeper union behind the camera in Frank. Appreciating that save and it was a good save, wasn't it? We saw Callum with a great header to uh, net the winner in our previous upload. But if Sungate do go on to win this tonight, you've got to think. It's these sort of moments that could be turning points. As it gets dark, the floodlights flick on. We're still competing and trying to be as physical as we can while staying within the laws of the game, of course. I can't help but feel we're getting penalised for it a bit. <laughs> It's frustrating, but we can't get on anyone's back. A bit like the 14 here on Callum. The play carries on as Callum looks to get it down, but uh, number three's in there, wins it, and sends it forward for our opponents. Next battle is Shane versus Bano. Number three joins in as well. And Sungate continue to make their way forward, getting beyond the challenges. As Foxy looks to come over and double up, the ball goes on the inside to Bano, who hits this one with a left. Oh. 
And we talk about turning points. Great save from the keeper. We've started moaning a bit about decisions that aren't going our way. It's all becoming a bit of a mindset. And now, to cap it off, Sungate are back in this game. It was a great strike in off the post. It's Palmer's FC 2. Sungate 1. All right, kick off. You can tell that goal was giving our opponents a bit of a boost. They're well up for this now as they uh, send this one forward with the head. Battle of the number eights here. And it's the Sungate number eight that comes out on top as he lays it off to the 17. who puts it through to the 14 who's offside. <laughs> What a tackle. Andre, unbelievable. Yeah, quality from Andre there. Still made the tackle just in case. It's becoming a nervy end to this first half as the ball goes into the box from the throw again. Here's Bano. Then it's there to cut that out. That's out for the corner. Here comes that corner. Floated in, nodded on by the 11 here towards the back post, out to the 14. Great player this one. Got to be really careful of him. Andre stands up and uh, 14 goes down. He's asking for the penalty, but nothing is given from the ref. There wasn't a huge appeal for this. Only a couple of players looking for the penalty, including the 14, obviously, that went down. Referee, perfect view. Not interested at all. If it was given, it would have been very soft. But we've got to say we're lucky there because on another night that could have been given. Yeah, since their goal, Sungate have been relentless. They're looking to get back into this before half time. Andre clipping the 99 there, and that's going to be a free kick. And here is Bano with that set piece. I'm sure he won't be happy with that delivery as it comes back out to the number three, puts it in. Shame with the header. And it's Tommy's next neighbor with the flick. Out to Lewis, who puts it forward. And on the end of this one, you guessed it, it's Midge. And now he's on his 10 toes, being chased down by the 11. Got Blossy and Callum Palmer in support, surrounded by blue shirts. But you don't need them. He tells the 11 and 12 to sit down and hits it with the left. Oh, yeah! Wow. Wow, wow. So much to talk about here, but let's just appreciate Midge. A first half hat trick in the Brentwood Senior Division League Cup final. The twisting and turning the sat the 11 down, taking the 12 with him, which leaves a lovely gap to slot home with his left. And you may have just heard some virgin comments on the sidelines. I'd have to clear them up. So obviously, we played these before. One all draw. Uh, it kind of all kicked off. Ethan threw on goal. 25 takes him down. Who's the 11 tonight? Ethan's not happy, but before you know it, some other geezer's got his arm around Ethan's neck. It was night night for him. This went on Instagram, but what preceded was, well, virgin. Two on one and one win. Brilliant. Virgin. Nosey knows all about Karate Kid. Virgin. Matthew Allen Smith is sexy. Thank you. Virgin. Even might have got involved. Never touched him, ref. Virgin. I will never understand it. None of us will understand it. Only this geezer on the pitch tonight who just got sat down. Virgin. So it's been a packed out half, isn't it? Ref's adding a bit of time on. And Sungate get back to doing what they were trying to do before. Get the ball in the box. This one switched over to this near side for the 99 who puts it across. Elliot winning the header. Back out to the 99 who lays it off for the eight. <laughs> And that, my friends, was the final chance of this half. Yeah, really good half from the boys there. Took the chances, defended well. With the current score at 3-1, it's 45 minutes that separates us from lifting that trophy. But don't mind, man, just got to do that YouTube bit where I say, do you want to subscribe to the channel? It'd be great if you could. Oh, yeah, and you can click this bell to be notified when a new video is out. That's cool. But enough of that. Back to the football. Where Sungate have got a plan. And I think that plan is an absolute onslaught. So, yeah, we're fully expecting it. Yeah, this is it. About to bring you another 45 minutes in this cup final. Let's do it. <laughs> So one minute in there looking at the wings. I do love myself a number two, don't I? One of them scored a hat-trick tonight. The other can't get past Shane. He is a good player though, that number two. As we continue over the far side of throwing heads, flicks and slices. Eventually result in a corner over that far side for our opponents. Although before that, we've got a problem. Andre's down. Play blinding tonight. New signing Nick on with the medical bag. That's right, guys. We have a medical bag. Very proud to say this. Although if it doesn't contain hot and cold spray, what's the point? So unfortunately, the medical bag and new signing Nick couldn't fix Andre's injury. Which means we've got a substitution coming on. It's going to be Henners. And he actually scored against this lot last time he played. So he knows what to do. Anyway. That corner swung in on the end of it. Is a Callum Bloss. Clears it, but only as far as the number three. Lewis chases. Three hits it with the left. Tommy's next on over blocks. It's cleared by Big Josh, but again, it's coming straight back. Bano this time playing at long floor to the edge for the 99. We find some space. Shoots, but that is wide. It's over. It's over. So with Andre off, Lewis is now complaining that his legs are tight. I think fitness could take his toll. As long as the back line do their job. Nice one, Foxy. We should be all right, but it's going to be a long, long half this one. So I'm going to continue the press. It's free. Out to the two here. Free continues his run. Foxy's going to look to take the ball once more, but there's Bano number 10 picking it up as he sticks it into the box and Elliot there to clear. Seems like if Foxy isn't there, Elliot is and vice versa. But as predicted, another sub. It's Josh Knowles coming on. Who is coming off for a rub down. 56 on the clock. It's going so slow this half. We're giving away more fouls. This free kick on the delivery doesn't look much, but it's bouncing through. Caught Garen off guard. Eight there to poke it in, but Hennes is there. And of course, so is Foxy. Yeah, yeah lads, so it'd be really great if you could stop giving away fouls. Yeah. 
As you see, Bano is not happy there, says if someone's taking his sweets off him. Which is great, because he actually owns his own sweets and confectionery business, so uh, go and check it out. SamSweetsAndShakes.co.uk And don't let that distract you from the fact that Shane's just gone in the book as well. Nothing came in that free kick, and then we've got some cramp over the far side. Time for another substitution. Callum Palmer off, Andre back on. The second half onslaught continues from Sungate. This ball over the top, out to that far side there. Teddy on by the 99, but Elliot's there first. That's another corner. And the urgency is kicking in. They've decided to take this one short. It's 99 that picks it up on the edge here. He's going to swing it in with the right. <laughs> It could have gone anywhere. Luckily, it's in Garen's arms. Double substitution. Now, Kev's on. The league's top scorer in Bill Tex as well. Midge wakes away. He's had no service this second half. Hopefully, we can get up to Bill, who can hold it up a little bit more. But is Sungate still in possession here? Or was? Henner's getting involved over that far side. Takes it off the 99. He swipes. <laughs> We've got a bit of handbags going on there. Full team pushing Andre for some reason. Elliot in there trying to break things up a bit. And at this stage, a whole load of, well, nothing's really going on. I can't quite work out if the 99's gone in the book or if it's Henners. Either way, someone's gone in the book. Gotta be 99 for the foul, isn't it? Meanwhile, Kev's literally been on one minute and uh, he's gone in the book as well. Sorry, sorry. Okay, one minute after that, we find ourselves in the 17th minute and this one is put over the top this time. Over here, now straight through to Garen. Okay, boss. <laughs> Yeah, ref involved. Let's see how he deals with this one. He's going to start by calling the physio on, but Bano thinks Garen's all right. I'm getting the point. So as that all fizzles out, Bano's going to go in the book. It's going to be yellow, but Garen's going to go in there as well, probably for his reaction there. I'm actually losing count of how many yellow cards we've seen tonight. As we fast approach the last 15, hopefully we can start to see some footballs. Number two floats this towards the edge of the box. <laughs> This ref is easily sold with Sungate's tricks, but a free kick here. Bano straight along the floor. It bounces off his own player, I think. Blocked there. He's headed back in, and it's uh, Blossy on the edge of the box who hoofs it up the field and gives our defence a bit of a respite. Bill's going to chase this one down. Keepers off the line. Wins that duel. And that phase of play fizzles out. It has been a nervy second half. The score still remains 3-1, but we really haven't got out of our half at all. Defensive players all over the show, and just Bill on his own up top. It's a lot to ask from him. Here comes another frustrating decision. <laughs> This free kick almost identical to the one they had a few minutes ago. I was just saying things are nervy. They just got even more nervier. 81 minutes on the clock. They've just produced a lovely free kick off the bar. I think Garen might have thought that was going over. Yeah, great strike. It's Palmer's FC three. Sungate two. All right, kick off. And we find ourselves now in the 88th minute. Just two minutes to go plus stoppage time. What that will be, we'll find out in a second. But Kev's lost it there. It's dangerous. But luckily for us, he's brought back for the free kick. The defence needs some sort of respite because it just keeps coming back. Kev involved once more here. I love Kev as a player, but tonight's performance has been... I can only say interesting. He's running a tightrope. We're in danger of going down to 10 if he carries on. As number two sends this one into the box, it's over everyone's head and bounces out for the goal kick. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Subs, yeah, feels like we haven't done one of them for five minutes. Big Josh makes his way back on the field to potentially get sent off too. But my friends, it is official. We are about to spend more than 10 seconds in this half of the field for this half. Bill hasn't been able to get in the game, so it's good to see the ball at his feet. He's got two men on him, number two and the Virgin. He's going to let's go beyond both, but the Virgin recovers well. That's a corner. He'll probably pipe up and say he's not a Virgin, and yeah, that's probably true. Congratulations. Big Josh! <laughs> That's where you kill the game off. But instead, 93 on the clock, and we back up this end, and, uh, well. <laughs> that was a chance. By the way, guys, if you're wondering, 11 minutes added on in this game. Felt like a long, long night. Budney's on the field. <laughs> Budney's no longer on the field. Sounds like his nose broke there, but, um, yeah, he's got blood pouring out. 
can't stay on. And Blossy, I can't remember when he came off, but he's going back on now. What a merry-go-round this has been. So with the scoreline 3-2, time continues to tick. And it looks like we're becoming that annoying team to play against as we try and run the clock down. And Blossy's not helped his own causes here as he stands in front of the throw, gets a donk on the head and all, and that's another £12 to Essex FA. And they say the richest game in football is the Championship playoff. No, they're very much mistaken. It's quite clearly the Brentwood Senior Division League Cup. Not rich for any of the clubs, though, just the County FA. I'll probably get booked for saying that, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't really see what happened over there. It's all boiled over again. Andre involved, and uh, of course, yeah. He's going to go in the book. Referee might as well just run around with that card rather than putting it in his pocket. I think that yellow card's been out on the field more than Budney tonight. But here we are in the 100 minute. <laughs> Out of the ball. We've got a decision. Anyway, Darren, sending it up the field. 101st minute. And I know I keep talking about the minutes, but it's all we've got our eye on at the moment. The 11 minutes mentioned have happened as it falls to the number 14. He's going to go for the spectacular from distance. Yep, that'll do. No, really. That'll do. So there you have it. That was the story of Palmer's FC versus Sungay in the Senior Division Cup final. After a really crap start to the season, 2022 came, didn't it? And we have not looked back. Shout out to the officials tonight. I know we give them a bit of stick, but without them, we wouldn't have these games on. But fair play to them. As for Sungay, wasn't their night tonight. Looking back, it was a game of two halves, an even one, and then a dominant one. It literally comes down to sticking the ball in the net, and the Michael Owen in me is about to say that we did that more than them. Therefore, it, yeah, we won. Yeah, you can't take anything away from these lads. Really, really good set of players. That's individually and as a team as well. Obviously, they won the league title. That's no fluke. And they also have the Ken Robinson Cup final to look forward to as well. Who will be there though? It might be us. It might be someone else. We'll see. But for now... For the 20, 21, 20, 22. Oh. Sunday Football League Senior Division Champions oh. are... Oh. Talk to me, Al. Oh, what a relief. That was our second half. Well, that's absolutely The boys dug in, did really well, and uh, yeah, got him in the end. Yes! Yes! Deserved. So Passion! <laughs> <laughs> Who picked up my jacket? What? Jacket. Oh, the important things, I think it might be over there. So we've done all this before, haven't we? We've won trophies. Although I'll be honest with you guys, I genuinely think we've passed our best. As I say, the turn of the year, these boys have absolutely dug in. That's all of them. Every single one of them. Big shout out to Brentwood Sunday League, by the way. These medals, they're proper solid. Proper solid. We'll fucking chuck that with the rest. Absolutely, Shane. I can't believe you didn't get picked. Bill! Can't believe you dropped me, mate. Yeah, we've done it. Kieran, that's for you. And of course, all of you that tune in every week and support us. Thank you so, so much. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next one. W -W 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 -W